It's already week five of the NFL season. That means we got another round of pickums. Sean, you picked 12 games correctly last week, jumping past me for second place. I'm still just one game behind him. Granik at 11 games right. He owns a four-game lead through four weeks. Well, we all correctly, correctly predicted a Rams victory on Thursday, but let's take a look at some of the games on Sunday. Start with a battle of three and one teams. Packers taking on the Bengals on the road. I think we all like the Packers in this one. It's hard to doubt Aaron Rodgers right now. I know Cincinnati's an improved team. They're better than they were last year, but hard, hard to bet against that man in a Rodgers. It is. I'm going to go with the Pack, but this is a cool game, kind of like the guy who's been there, Rodgers, maybe the new guy coming into the, the spotlight in Joe Burrow. I'm going to go with the Pack, but I really thought about taking the Bengals with the way that Burrow commands that offense. I'll go with the Packers as a safe pick, but... You know, if this game was played maybe four or five weeks from now, I wouldn't be so shocked if the Bengals did get a win. Yeah, and of course, Cincinnati played Minnesota super tough at home, beat mm -hmm. them. Um, so don't count them out, and uh, you never know. Road games in the NFL, anything can happen. Up next, speaking of the Vikings, well, they got the Lions at home. And we're all picking Minnesota, so Tanner, give us your reasons why Minnesota. Well, first off, the Lions at some point are going to win a game. They've been tough this year, kind of like those two New York teams last week who found a way to get a win. At some point, the Lions are going to get it done. They've been competitive. But I got to tell you, I know they're one in three. And I thought before the season started that the Vikings would struggle. But I'm actually, I've been impressed. I think they're a pretty good team. And I think they take care of business at home. Yeah, I think being at home is the big difference there. Plus, they are, they're desperate. You can't go to one and four if you want to make the playoffs. Um, up next, Broncos at Steelers. An intriguing AFC matchup. Couple splits here. You and I picked Pittsburgh. Grant going with Denver. Now, my only thing is Pittsburgh's kind of in that same boat. They're, right. they're at home. Right. They're desperate. The Broncos, Teddy Bridgewater had a concussion last week. You don't know his status. Drew Locke, if he's in there, mm -hmm. hasn't shown to that consistency. So I like the Steelers and their defense at home. I just don't think Denver's for real. And Pittsburgh is one of those franchises where it always seems like when they need a win, they get a win. Yeah. And up next, we got your Cleveland Browns at the Los Angeles Chargers. Me and Grant went L.A. Be before I speak, why are you taking the Chargers? They're at home. Their defense is really good. Justin Herbert is looking like he's taking that second leap as a second-year player. So I just like the Chargers. I think they're a very underrated team still, despite the resume. I think they're a good team, too. I just think the Browns are better. I think they're for real. Baker playing with that torn labrum in his non-throwing shoulder, showing some toughness. I think Cleveland gets it done. I don't know what the score is. I just think it's a team this year that finds a way to win ugly, to win pretty, however they do it, that gets a W this week. Yeah, I think they just have a better offensive line than the Vikings, so I think that Herbert will have a little more time to get plays. And then finally, Sunday night football, Bills and Chiefs. This is a rematch of the AFC Championship. I believe they are Chiefs at home at Arrowhead Sunday night. I went with them for pretty much that reason, and it's Patrick Mahomes. You and Grant both went with Buffalo, so I, quick, I think quick reason. Buffalo's a better team. They have played better. They've looked better. I like Buffalo on the road to pull off the upset. All right, well, you can see the rest of our picks by visiting this story on Kelloland.com.